Hey friends, welcome back to my channel once again. Richard Long's first marriage ended when his wife died and his second marriage ended when he died. His second marriage was the longest as it spanned over a decade. Susan Ball was Richard Long's first wife whom he first saw on TV before connecting with her in person. Long and Ball were briefly married as she passed away just 16 months after their wedding. Long found love again and married his second wife, Mara Corday, an actress. Despite the tumultuous marriage, the two remained married until the actor's death. Long and Ball were in 1954 in Santa Barbara, California. Their marriage was one of the Hollywood's nicest love stories. Susan, who had lost her one leg to cancer, stole glances at how beautiful she looked in her white gown. The guests were surprised because everyone had anticipated Ball to walk down the aisle using crutches. However, she defied expectations and made her way down the aisle using an artificial leg. At the time, she said, I always knew I would get married without crutches, although no one else did. In 1960, Mara sued the actor for divorce following 16 periods of separation. Paul escorted down the aisle where her dad had spent six days before the wedding practicing walking with her artificial leg. Long, who co-starred with Linda Evans and Barbara Stanwyck in The Big Valley, first saw Ball in a movie when he was serving in the army in Japan. Upon returning to the United States, he resumed his acting career and it was during this period that he had the opportunity to meet Ball in person. He introduced himself and the two hit it off from there. Long's marriage to Ball was short-lived. They were married for 16 months. She passed away in 1955, age 21, after losing her battle with lung cancer. Long was working on film project at the time of her death, received the heartbreaking news about an hour. Later, from his brother-in-law. Inside Richard Long's marriage to his second wife, Long found love again with actress Mara Corday and the two tied the knot in January 1957. The pair welcomed three children, Cody, Valerie, and Gregory. Long and Cody lived in San Fernando Valley, where they raised their children. The pair had a rocky marriage despite sharing three children. In 1960, Cody sued the actor for divorce following 16 periods of separation. Cody reportedly had filed a similar lawsuit in 1959, but ultimately dropped it after the couple resolved their differences and reconciled. Kota recalled their troubled marriage during an interview revealing that in her many attempts to separate from Long, the actor would plead on his knees and ask for forgiveness, to which she would forgive him and give him another chance. When they married, Kota's acting career came to a standstill. She revealed that Long couldn't stand her working in the showbiz and that at one point when she got a guest role alongside Long, he refused. Despite the tumultuous marriage, Long and Cody remained married until his death in 1974. After Long's death, Cody sought to connect with him through a medium to find closure. That's all for now. Subscribe for more.